What's up YouTube? Welcome to more trades. Welcome to the channel. I wanted to give you an update on Solana and to let you know what I think uh, could happen in the next coming days, the next coming weeks. All right, so, so far Solana has made this move down, which kind of looks impulsive. We had some strong impulsive. This is, this is on the daily chart. And at the moment, uh, uh, for the first time we opened, I won't say the first time, the last time we opened and closed the candle below the value area low of this fixed range volume profile, we did have a continuation to the downside. It's not a good sign. Now we do have some areas of liquidity we might come and reclaim as low as the $12 over here, this wick that goes down all the way down to 12.6. <clears throat> now, looking at this move down and taking some feedback extensions to project the possible move down and how far can we go? Assuming this is a correction, we could go down to $14 or even the 1.618 at $7, but usually 10.9 is preferable. I do have these low targets on the chart as you see them. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I had them for a while. Uh, still looking for them to be hit. They could be hit, not necessarily, not a guarantee, but they could be hit. The, the targets are down here between eight and nine dollars and between four to seven dollars or five to seven dollars. We're still very far away, but anything is possible. Now, this move up can remain bullish even if Solana comes all the way down again and doesn't break this level, the 11.9. If we break this level, 11.9. You must not go lower, in my opinion. You must hold this, the 13.3 or even wick below the 11.9. But anything that breaks below, I would say the 11, $11 range, 11.4 uh, even. Once we get below this wick over here, then that's a problem. That's a problem with Solana, that you could go as low as that target and then still be bullish and move to the upside in a bullish move. Uh, hitting higher targets things are not looking that bullish at the moment if you look at the volume volume is declining well it's telling you that this probably is a correction downwards and uh, looking at the RSI if we're overbought or oversold on different time frames let's take a look at that RSI is oversold on the 4 hourly so that's a good sign for Solana we could have a move up on the daily, we are in the oversold region. On the hourly, same thing, very oversold. And the last time we were here, uh, we got a we got a small move up. On the hourly, if you look over here, we got a move up all the way to $22. So it's not all doom and gloom for Solana. It has hope. But if Bitcoin starts tanking, then Solana will definitely follow. Uh, it's almost a guarantee when Bitcoin moves, everything moves with it. Just a few outliers that don't do the same sometimes. So in my opinion, okay, Solana could get a bounce, but we are below the value area low. We could bounce and recover at least half of this candle at around 20.2 because that's kind of an insufficiency. We had two big red candles and this is another red candle. We might come up, retest the POC 20 between 20.2 and 20.6 in my opinion uh, I might be wrong then we might have a continuation to the downside uh, on this indicator we had a short signal over here we had a push up and a continuation to the downside it that's how it sometimes works on the four hourly Let's look at the 15 minute. Anything interesting showing that the, the momentum may change to the upside? We're having a slight curve to the upside. Mind you, whenever you have an insufficiency, a quick move down like this, you could come. I told you 20.2, 20.6. You have these this really fast move down that could become uh, Solana can come and recover over here. So, yeah, I, I think maybe we could have a small bounce up now on the weekend and a further continuation uh, but overall I think we could 
continue lower this is a very nice move down very clear you could say you had a one two three four and five completed then since you completed those five waves move down then you can say okay now you get a small bounce between the 0.5 and 0.618 uh, that could take you all the way between 20.5 uh, and 20.9 that's what the, the same level i'm talking about and then you have another continuation to the downside that could take you let me measure it out for you so you could see what i'm talking about you come all the way down and say you had a bounce up here all the way to the 0.618 if you're very bullish you could come down to the $17 range or even the 15.951 within the next coming days. All right, that's my update for Solana. I hope you liked it. Remember, this is not financial advice. It's just how I see the markets. Anything can happen opposite to what I say. Uh, hit the like, subscribe to the channel, join the free Discord. And if you really like the channel, support the channel through the link that says buy me a coffee. More trades, I'm out.